that's our setting. Uh, we have a tool uh, to beam us right in front and look at the molecule a little bit at closer. You see the protein um, at the top. You see the NAD plus at the bottom. And you see the ethanol, which is called TFE here, trifluoethanol, at the bottom. If we move closer, I can go and uh, grab the molecule, and I'll show you that in a little bit more detail. So the protein is uh, composed out of this dimer, and it's difficult to get at first. But something you see directly is uh, there is a ladder. There is a ladder of these yellow stripes that goes along. Uh, six go to the left side, six go to the left side, and the bottom six go to the right side. And that means you combine these two molecules to form a dimer, although there are two individuals. Uh, the whole structure, if you look at it right like this, uh, you put it a little bit more down, you see you have kind of a staircase. It's one of these structural elements you can build up in space, and if you take it, you can go right through it and see into the structure of the molecule. You also see that there is a structure around it. There's this elements around the structure that tell you that the central core of the molecule is, is stable, uh, whereas um, the residual part of the molecule that we look at now in a different perspective. Uh, let me try to get that. Okay, let's look at it like this. Um, here you see a flexible arm. I hope you can see that. There is a flexible arm. This is stable, and there is a flexible arm around it. And there, in the center of it, there is a hole. I can go right in and look at the zinc in the center. This zinc is ultimately important for the whole reaction. So the protein is here to hold that zinc in place. How does it do that? Now we switch on the whole complexity of the molecule to look at that. Here again is our zinc, and there is a nitrogen, and there are two sulfurs in yellow, and that hold that zinc in place. So very neat. Uh, we have a structure that we can go in that is highly complex, and that we are still able uh, to do something with it. Something of this would never be possible in 3D. You got totally lost. Now you see there is an entry from this side, but the molecule has also an entry from that side. So also here, very nice and very open, you can go in. But believe me, the structure is at a very low electron density right now. If we switch on the full electron density for that molecule, it looks like there's hardly any space at all. Now you're looking at the structure from the outside, but still, you can go in and uh, use the structure for doing something. Also, this would be completely impossible without using VR. Let's go back to the structure and look at the two reactions that we would like to uh, understand. Here's our structure, here's our two mm -hmm. substrates. The first molecule... Two minutes. All right, thanks. The first... It's very easy to lose time here. The first molecule <laughs> to, uh, to use is the NAD+. We can snap it in place, and it's bound to the protein. Second molecule is the ethanol. We can put it here, it snaps in place, it's bound to the protein. Now, if we go in very close again and look at that reaction, we switch on all the complexity of the reaction, we can do two things. We can first look for the proton transfer. You can take that molecule, and right here, it goes right in through here, where the proton is transferred. That's already very complicated to get. But a second feature that students, in most cases, don't get at all is the following. This molecule transfers... Uh, the hydride, an electron, with the, with the hydrogen, from that carbon to that carbon. And it's a reaction that doesn't react from that side, it's only reacting from one side of this molecule that we have put in and out. It happens from this side only. So you can see that by placing the ethanol in that molecule in that direction, it's only a one-sided reaction that is possible. All of this can be shown easily in, uh, in, uh, three, in virtual reality, and at the end, the molecules that have been changed can be taken out, and the reaction is completed. And I hope to have shown you that there is something, something that is possible to, um, to be done with virtual reality that you uh, may have not been possible to do without. <laughs>